that I have a family that is saved. I have a uh, brother that's saved. I have a uh, mother-in-law that's saved. Uh, forgive me if I don't if I don't yell, but uh, I'm very blessed that my brother saved, my my uh, sister-in-law saved, my mother saved, and I'm surrounded by saved people. I am very blessed for that. Amen. And also, I am very blessed to be with uh, young people like yourselves. I thank you for that, for uh, holding up the flags and participating in this. I think you should obey your parents too, even if you don't like what to do. It, it honors God when you obey your parents. But uh, I'll tell you one more thing. Where, where's the older one? Uh, it's okay. That uh, you should be able to want to love Jesus voluntarily. If not in the future, you're going to end up hating him. You want to do it voluntarily. Okay? I wouldn't want my wife to be forced to love me. I want her to love me. So, Luke 22. Lucas 22. I thank you for that, ladies. I, think, I can't see you because you're so small. But I thank you for that. I like your smile too. Yeah. All right, uh, Luke 22. We'll start at uh, verse 35 all the way down to 38. Okay, Lucas 22. Vamos a empezar del versículo 35 hasta el 38. You go ahead. You read in Spanish and I'll just go. Okay. Lucas 22, 35. Y a ellos dijo, cuando os envié sin bolsa, sin alforja y sin calzado, os falta algo? Ellos dijeron, nada. Y les dijo, pues ahora, el que tiene bolsa, tómala, y también la alforja. Y el que no tiene espada, vende su capa y compre una. Porque os digo que es necesario que se cumpla todavía en mi, aqu en mi aquello que está escrito. Y fue contado con los inicuos porque lo que está escrito de mí tiene cumplimiento. Entonces ellos dijeron, Señor, aquí hay dos espadas. Y les dijo, basta. Amen. All right. This brother just preached his heart out and gave a great message about Israel. Okay, people that pray for Israel get blessed by Israel. And we should all pray for Israel. And we're getting to the, uh, to the time and end. And I'm competing with the uh, ice cream truck now. But uh, that you see more and more the devil wants to get rid of Israel. The devil hates Israel. And if he can get, get rid of Israel, that means one of God's prophecies is not true. But one of God's uh, promises that he will keep Israel alive and well and protected even though they're not obedient to Jesus right now it's still that's his people still okay and then so he preached about Israel we have to pray for Israel but look at this flag right here we also have to pray for America we're coming up to the 4th of July and these people they came here from Europe to build colonies didn't like the tyranny that was going on here and defended themselves. Defended themselves with guns and swords. So we can have this freedom today to be in a park to preach the Lord Jesus Christ, to preach salvation. <coughs> and right here what we're reading the scriptures is, now I'm not gonna get into a whole gun control thing, but we're here in the scriptures, Jesus told these guys to sell you stuff to buy a sword. And then they came to the Lord and says, look, we have two swords. He says, that's enough. Why would, he, why would God want, uh, Jesus want them to have swords to defend themselves? Maybe they were living in a quite shady, uh, shady area around there, but Jesus teaches you to defend yourself. And not just, uh, just physically, but Jesus will teach you to defend yourself with this Bible, which is more important than, t than uh, protecting yourself physically. But you want to be able to protect yourself uh, spiritually. And this, the Bible calls this the sword. And this is the only thing that will able to protect you from temptations, from the devil, from this world, from this lust. It's this Bible. This is your sword. And like a good swordsman, like back in the day when they used to fight in the, uh, in the Revolutionary War, they would have to practice with their, with their muskets and their swords and how to fight in combat. Well, this is your sword. And you have to use your sword. I'm sorry, you're supposed to translate for me. I'm just, get, I'm just going. But this is, this is, this is your sword. And you have to practice to defend yourself, okay? Imagine, imagine uh, if they didn't, these people in the back in, back in the days did not practice with their, with their weaponry. In any era, any age, okay, would it be medieval times or, or coming up this 4th of July, they would, they would fail in battle because they do, they do not know their weapon. You have to know your weapon. This is your weapon. And you have to read it every day. Now, if you don't want to read it, that's up to you and God. But I would, I would suggest you read it, you study it, so you can know when the devil's trying to trick you. 
into bad doctrine, trick you to do, to do some sin that you know God doesn't want you to do. See, what the devil wants you to do, since he can't take you to hell no more, he's going to want to make God punish you, to make you to fall into those traps and make you sin. And you got to watch out for that. And how do you know how to watch out for the devil's traps? It's right here. Everything you need to know about this is in this, in this Bible. How many minutes do I have left? Two. Two minutes. So that's why I, I read my Bible and I practice. To defend myself, to defend the Lord. Because we're living in an age. This, this, I know we, people have been saying this since the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, but we are in the last times. And we live another 10 years, guess what? It's going to get 10 years worse. We're living in the last times. There's so much bad doctrine, bad churches, bad preachers. There's wolves all around trying to eat the flock of, of Jesus, trying to eat these sheep. And we got to defend. You know what? You know what? 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 What a wolf hates when he when he attacks an animal, or when a when a lion attacks a prey, he hates it when the prey fights back. Because well, this giving me a good fight. He doesn't want to die. I don't want to die with this wolf. I don't want you to die with this wolf. I don't want those people to die with this wolf. So we gotta use this weapon. Amen. 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 One minute. Uh, well, actually, that's all I have. Amen, amen, But I amen. thank you. Amen. Okay, amen. Thank you, ladies. Amen, amen, amen. 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 amen.